Good morning students. Today we will discuss Magnetic Resonance Imaging, MRI. MRI is a medical imaging technique used for making detailed images of body tissues such as muscle, brain, etc. MRI is also known as NMRI that is Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Imaging because MRI is a medical application of Nuclear Magnetic Resonance. Next we will discuss the principle of operation of MRI. Certain atomic nuclei are able to absorb and emit radio frequency energy when placed in an external magnetic field. In clinical MRI, hydrogen atoms are commonly used because these atoms are naturally abundant in humans, particularly in water and fat. For this reason, MRI scans map the location of water and fat in the human body. When an external magnetic field is applied, hydrogen atoms generate polarization. That is detected by antennas. Here, Radio frequency coils are used to detect these signals. These are used for making detailed images of the body tissues. The main components of an MRI scanner are magnet, gradient coil, radio frequency coil and a computer. MRI system use three sets of gradient coils the X, Y and Z gradients. An independent power amplifier drives each of these coils. These are used for spatial encoding. Here magnet is used to polarize the atoms and the gradient coils are used to localize the region to be scanned. And the radio frequency coil that detect the resulting NMR signals. These are given to the interface circuit and the computer is used to create the images. So the whole system is controlled by one or more computers. So in the last class we discussed about CT scan. CT scan and MRI scans both are used to capture images within the body. The biggest difference is that MRIs use radio waves and the CT scans use X-rays. Thank you.